Yeah, oh yeah, a rather uh, downbeat, sad kind of video about um, wind farms again and the dirty tricks that are played on the people. Things like, you know, we're going to get community funding. Uh, everything's going to be tidied up afterwards. And the overall net of impact is um, is going to save carbon to the atmosphere and save the universe or whatever the planet. Ah, it's a shocker. And I've got Bob Morgan, who has spent decades working as um, a senior surveyor for um, renewable energy industry. He went in there as a fresh-faced young man out there to save the planet, thought the idea of windmills and solar farms was great. And in the end, he saw so much, uh, so many terrible things happening. And when he started destroying the Welsh historical sites and ploughing through burial mounds rather than taking the trouble to go around them, in the end, he felt he had no choice but to leave in disgust. So there's a short video here, just a couple of things that go on. Uh, and and that, 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 that's why I didn't want to do this scheme. They've, they've, they've gone through here now and they've crashed through and lots of bits and pieces now that we that could be shown up by LIDAR, they've like either erased or bulldozed over, over so you can't see anymore. So there's, there's lots of bits and pieces up there that I think that we would have found if these turbines were not there, which is why I didn't want to do them. <laughs> they're going to yeah. have bloody everywhere now, aren't they? This is the problem. Yeah. Uh, and 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 the, and the problem is, as you, as you see, you know, the, the, it's the footprint of the turbines. You know, you know seventy-five by forty-five meters. They, they 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 basically destroyed everything in, in around each turbine. Well, that, that's the crane pad there, and then the crane pad is there. But but you know, what you don't see is the the area they created around it in order to form that. So, and all of it is about seventy-five by forty-five or eighty by fifty. Um, you know, so the, what do you mean? Well, they clear the whole area. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, they 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 flatten it all out now. All oh, right, right. It's cross. What, what yeah. They, yeah, what they do is, if it's a, it, you're lucky if it, it's a flat piece of land. All they would do is take off the the, the top vegetation, put down the geotex uh, membrane on it, and then put put stone on top. But w when you're on an undulating site like this, you know. They, coming up here, for example, you can see here they, they've had to create, um, they've had to dig into the hillside in order to create this road going up, going up here. They've actually had to form a cutting going up the hill, so they've actually then gone down. They've gone down four or five meters, perhaps, and and whatever was underneath there now is gone. And the, the, yeah, they, they create artificial mounds as well, don't they? Which can confuse. Yeah, no, exactly. That that the, around all of these pylons now, uh, all of these turbines now are artificial mounds. You know, you've got one there, for example, which is which appears on the lidar, and it's an artificial mound, which is where they've scraped back the soil and, and piled it up there. Because uh, under the planning conditions you get on these things, you can't take the soil off the site, and the reason for that is they don't want huge convoys of trucks taking away soil on, and putting it onto the local road network. So you have to saw that soil, uh, and what what will happen in, in twenty five years time? They take down the turbines, and that soil then will be spread back over the ground. But on top, but they will leave the concrete foundation in the ground, and you'll end up with them with a small mound over the top of the ground <laughs> of the of the foundation. So someone in so like 50, 60 years time will be looking at thinking, oh, what are these burial mounds? What are these mounds? <laughs> yeah. All these burial mounds all around the hillside. Yeah, yes. because that's what they will look like. In, in, well, in, the other thing I've yeah. seen as well, it's a good, there's an example someone sent me from Cornwall, is that um, it, it's not always, they don't always clear up after them themselves anyway. No. Some, some no. of these companies register offshore, and even yeah. though they've been paid to clear the site afterwards, they just naff off. And it's a very sad film I've been sent of a whole wind farm in Cornwall. The rotor blades have been taken off. Yeah, and, and it's just these rot rusting poles. Yeah, just <laughs> left. Yeah, no, it, it, uh, it all, all those tricks are played, and it's very, it's very difficult to actually tie them down because it's privately a contract. Yeah, they enter into contracts um, with the uh, when when they get get the, their planning conditions and things like that. They enter in, into a contract effectively with the local mm. authority for mm. a development company. Once they've done the development, 
the yeah. development company then sell it on to the operating company and fold up the development company. So yeah, when, yeah, yeah. When, when something goes wrong and they're trying to enforce planning conditions, the, the, the operating company say, well, it wasn't us who said, you know, yeah. you know you, your contract is with the, oh, it came from bus. Ah, but it's the same people. Ah, but it's a different company. Different company, <laughs> yeah. And all those games are played and that's how they get out of paying the community funds as well, as I found out to my cost. Because right. That's how they get away with what, sorry? Well, uh, not paying the community funds because uh, the, the last uh, one of the last two um, solar farms I did, I negotiated a community fund with the local community, and then we we're going to get like so about ten grand a year uh, for for this small um, solar farm, ten grand a year for twenty five years, which to them was a yeah it was a parish council a lot of money, yeah, uh, and and again the development company on there went bust, uh, and bust, so paid them. Uh, and so they're all ringing me up and say, where's our money? And I said, well, yeah, I negotiated with, I, I got all the documentation in place, but it, you know, that's, that's the way it is. You know, if, if, they, if you've got an unscrupulous developer, um, that's the game they can play. But they're all unscrupulous. <laughs> I don't think any of them got any scruples. No, and, and the problem is that the, the, what well, is getting worse now because the uh, planning authorities, because of, because of the cuts and because of COVID even, uh, they got no one on the ground to do anything. They can't take enforcement action anymore um, because of uh, you know it, because they just don't have the manpower to do it. And and if you're taking the enforcement action, you've got the local authority and they're having to pay legal and barristers and people like that. And then you've got these big huge developers like Butte, and they they got access that they got. Yeah, barristers by the score, uh, you know. And fines on just, their side as well, they can just drag and it and they just, Yeah, and they just run rings around the, the local authority. Um, and, and the last and they, one, well, these, these latest ones now, yeah. the local authority's got no say anyway, it's national interest. Well, how, well, is, it, how is not back um, a huge wind farm and they just went to, uh, went over and, their heads? Yeah, and, and that's what's going to happen. That's yeah, it's going to, yeah, it, it's, gonna, it's um, you know, the... the, the the National Assembly are making a decision, you know, they've, yeah. and they've already made they've already made it. It's just going through the motions now. You yeah. just you know, just turning the wheels to make it happen. Yeah, and there was it, no real consultation. I don't think the public was ever asked yeah. how many windmills do you want or anything. So there you go, depressing the uh, expected and shocking stuff and tricks that these people pull. Uh, we do have a live show every Sunday on this channel, eight o'clock UK time. So please tune in. We'll do some updates on the wind farms. Generally, we look at history, things like the ancients as well in the area. All these mountains that are being ruined. They've got mounds on them which tell us stories. It tells us about star maps. There's ancient stones and messages from our ancestors. Do you know we even have what's called megalithic walls in South Wales, made of large stones, and they're being pulled down by the councils? What's all that about? Hey, you can learn at uh, the Welsh language. Go all the way back to ancient Egypt, and you can read hieroglyphs. Dead easy. Join the Facebook group. Join the chat. Most importantly, contact your MPs, contact your local councillors, tell your neighbours, let them see these videos, let, let them just know we're not happy, and this is a con. It's not being done for our good, alright? You're not saving the planet, all we're doing is destroying the planet. Okay, so more on this coming soon. Till next time, Heather.